trouble in that first period getting the puck stop. They're a very dynamic, strong, well-built hockey team, as we anticipated. Um, I thought our guys didn't back down one inch, and I uh, thought we definitely got better as the game went along. Had some good looks in the second period. I think the shots in the third were 10-2. this group. I think they've you know, changed the landscape of AIC hockey. Um, I certainly know they've changed the landscape of AIC hockey and I'm very proud of them. And I, I told them as you get a little older in life, um, life's about making memories. And these guys made a bunch of memories this season for each other. They made a bunch of memories for me and my family. extend my college career uh, next year actually so six years uh, but uh, this program uh, has shaped my life uh, and I can't thank uh, the coaching staff enough for giving me a second chance here and couldn't think of a better group of guys uh, to end my hockey career with. Yeah I agree with all of them. Uh, we won seven games our freshman year. Uh, to see where the program has evolved it's, it's been amazing to be a part of um, and I just can't thank the group of guys for you know buying in for what Coach Ling is you know kind of putting their heads and it's just been fun. It's been a fun ride. And I just want to thank like the uh, the athletic administration and our administration at our school and Coach Lang because uh, they revitalized our program and uh, made coming to the rink so much fun and and uh, helped us win games, which was so much fun. Yeah, I mean it definitely puts us on the map here. Uh, looking back at the beginning of the season. I don't think there's a single person in the hockey world besides the guys in our locker room that thought we could be here at the end of the season. And uh, we have made a huge statement this year, uh, a lot of firsts in this season and last season. And uh, I think you're going to see a lot more from this program moving forward. Yeah, um, it's it's uh, it's been fun to be a part of what we're doing. And then uh, down the road at UMass, it's been cool to see what they've done. And uh, those games when we play them are so much fun. We got a a rivalry throughout my four years here and uh, I hope the Western Mass continues to do this and be strong and be in the hunt and win games and, and get uh, involved in the community and bring fans up to the rink. For one, the, the future is fairly bright for us. We lose uh, three amazing human beings and three pretty good hockey players, but we return just about everything right, you know, for next season. So in, in terms of down the road, we, we like what we see. And, a little disappointed today, like saying goodbye and getting in the locker room and seeing guys teary eyed is, is never a, it's just kind of stinks. You know, but I do what they told these guys, and I think I mentioned it in my opening comment, they, they've changed the landscape of AIC hockey, and for that I'm forever indebted to them. You, you can't be satisfied, and if you don't win the last game of the year, you know, there, there's, you have to kind of 
constantly have that carrot in front of you. So, that, so we should be disappointed if we went from here to here to here. And I um, hope I'm back in this seat you know, this time next year and we're, and we're moving on because that's been the progression of our program. You know, like I said, we, we return a whole bunch. And I'll be, you know, these guys will have to go and, and like the taste of this and want to advance this thing another step. You know, it's really important that our group stays hungry. Yeah, we ironically went from three to the one after the 10. I like for the flow of the game, personally as a coach, I, I do like the one TV after a 10 minute. Uh, when I'm playing St. Cloud and Denver and, and some of these guys, if they want to do five TV timeouts, I'd be okay with that too. So mm -hmm. um, I guess you, you can't have it both ways. The games are on TV, and I understand that dynamic as well. So uh, it was good for us. It worked for us. We were, we were coaching this group TV timeout to TV timeout, and um, we were able to catch our breath and, and sometimes hit the reset button because we had to do that a bunch tonight. I can tell you three years ago when I was making phone calls from a four and five and six win uh, team, it's hard to get guys to call you back. But it's a little easier if you regular season conference champs and you win your playoff and you're making recruiting phone calls for first place or we're squeezing as many phone calls as we could in a 24-hour period from yesterday to today you know you, you have to ride momentum in recruiting and uh, I think our program has a lot of it right now and, and I think we've got a lot to offer and um, I think I mentioned to it yesterday a little bit like in terms of what we look for in a player and it's really important that we stay with these A mindset players not tempted by recruiting anything but an A mindset, and that supersedes everything. Um, it actually supersedes our talent, you know, in terms of our evaluations. If they've got an A mindset, we know they're going to develop, we know they're going to be great human beings, and we know they're going to get better. It's a great question. I hope, uh, yeah, I would love to sit inside the top 20 and, and sit on that for an entire summer. I'll make the summer go a little better, so if I can make a pitch to all those people on some of these polls. You know, I, I do, like if you're one of the last eight teams standing, you should be in the top 20 in the country. That's just, that's how I would vote. 